Hi everybody, Eric here again, and thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. For today, I am going to be reviewing Stephen King's November 22nd, 1963. I know, I know, it's been over a year since that this has been released, but you know what? This is my first laptop with my first webcam and... You know, I know it's, you know, I know I'm a little late in reviewing this, and I know a lot of people know about it, but I feel like I have to review it because, you know, I like, I'm a huge fan of Stephen King's work, and it's uh, not just that, but I also, I also think that this is probably his crowning achievement. I know a lot of people like to say that, oh, uh, it was actually The Shining or The Sin Band. Well, yes, uh, those are all great books. However, this really has to be, you know, the best of them all. I think that this tops all of his uh, classic novels for, uh, for many reasons. But before I get into that, let me just give you a brief... Uh, overview of the book. Now, it's about a man named Jake Epping. I like his his last name, by the way, and I'll, I'll get into that later. But it's about a man named Jake Epping, who whose uh, friend Al Templeton own, owns a diner, and inside of his diner he has this time portal that takes you to a certain day in 1958 now al actually um had a plan to go back in time you know to prevent the kennedy assassination well since it takes since it since it takes you you know to 1958 only and oh and uh, by the way you can go where the time portal is at. Is it's it's actually inside of his pantry, and you can go in, and then you can go, and then you you can come back. You know, from 1958, then 1958 back into the present, and no matter how long you've been in there for, like years or what, what whatever, whenever you come back out of the time portal, it will be. Only it will seem like you you've only been gone for two minutes. I know it's a little complicated, but you gotta read. But anyway, so Al did at one point go back in time to try to prevent the Kennedy assassination, but he unfortunately caught a disease, and so he asks his friend Jake to go on an epic journey. See, had it, Jake Epping. So he. So he asks his friend Jake to go back in time to prevent the Kennedy assassination. At first he resists because he thinks that Lee Harvey Oswald was not the lone assassin. He thinks that it was a conspiracy, you know, where there was more people involved. While Al believes in the lone nut theory. Well, eventually Jake accepts the offer and he goes back in time to prevent the Kennedy assassination. Now, I'm not going to tell you any anything else about it because I think you really need to read it for yourself because this book, it's, yes, I know it's a little long. It's over 800 pages long, but you know what? Stephen King does not waste your time. Every single page in this book, every sentence is worth reading. This this I could not put this uh, down. It's over 800 pages, and it only took me like a month to uh, f to uh, finish. Well, I also work a lot, so had I not had a job, well, first if I hadn't had a job, I w I couldn't afford to buy the book. But you know, had I not had a job, and if I and if I got it from the library, I probably would have finished it within a week. But now, um. Actually, now I'm not gonna tell you, you know, if Jake, well, 
a like pre-events Lee Harvey Oswald from shooting Kennedy or if he pre-events more people from shooting because you have to read it for yourself well once again um however though I would like to say this um I'm, I'm, yeah, actually right now I'm kind of debating on whether or not I should say this because it might give something away, but, uh, well, here, let me just say this. You know how you think of, like, thoughts like, oh, if I can only go back in time and change this, things would turn out better. You know, like, had, you know, like, had JFK lived, would the country be bad or off? Well, it's easy to think that like for an example if we can go back in time and prevent 9-11 from happening or if we can go back in time and prevent things like Pearl Harbor the Oklahoma City bombing or we can prevent Adolf Hitler from be from becoming a, a powerful person or anybody any tragedy that happened you know we want to prevent but I'm a firm believer, me personally, I, you know, and, and I know a lot of people believe in, in what, what I believe too, that everything happens for a reason, even tragedies. So one must think when JFK got assassinated, well, well, whether it was by Lee Harvey Oswald or more people, they had their own uh, motives. However, what was God's motive? Because he, because he, he, you know, even though that God gave us free will, he must have given us some idea about what to do. So... You know, when we think about if I can only just go back in time and prevent this god-awful tragedy from happening, if we really think hard about it, we must think, well, if we could do that, what would happen had this person lived? Or what would happen if something that happened that was, you know, a tragedy, what would have happened? You know, it's actually a very good thought, you know. Now, you know, this book, how, what now, okay, now let's get back to the main thing here. One of the main reasons why I like this book is that not only is it a great story, but I like how Stephen King is able to bring fictional characters and have them interact with real characters like Lee Harvey Oswald like you, you like you know uh, certain people that he knew you know like Lee Harvey Oswald did you know you know like uh, George D. Mornschild and you know even people like uh you know you know like famous people in the FBI you know so um yeah, you know, I mean, this is a wonderful book. You know, if you hadn't, uh, if you haven't read this yet, shame on you, because it's a wonderful book. Especially if you're a Stephen King fan, shame on you. <laughs> so yeah, you know, I, please pick this up. You have got to own Stephen King's crowning achievement, November twenty second, nineteen sixty three.